Hi everyone, today I'm back to make um, another soap, of course. This one is gonna be fragranced with a new fragrance that I'm testing out. And I bought the small bottle because I wanted to smell it and test it, and it smells amazing. Everybody that has smelled this from my family um, absolutely loved it. It's called The Perfect Man, and I've read the reviews, and it should be a really good seller. So, all right, let me just mix up my um, additives in here. Okay. Um, also gonna take advantage and use this soap for Soap the Rainbow. Um, it's green for this week. So I'm just gonna do this one, a green soap. And we'll see how it turns out. I have a, a plan of what I wanna do. <clears throat> Let me just strain this. Um, I kind of want to do the same thing I did with my Burst of Color soap. I have a video on that. So we'll see how this one turns out with just the green colors. Okay. I'm going to put a bit of a water discount for this one. Okay. That was my light solution with... Um, sodium lactate and tested silk. Oh, and I'm not using gloves. Whoops. Let me just put them on real quick. I do have my glasses. Okay. Now we can get started. Let me show you the colors that I have. Uh, I have Emerald Mica from Be Scented. It looks like this. Beautiful green. Deep green. I have... This one is the label, uh, it's no good. I think it's Chrome, Activated Chrome Green Pigments from Brambleberry. Looks like that. I'm using Baby Grasshopper Green Mica from Crafter's Choice, well, Wholesale Supplies Plus. Very, very nice color. I'm using Karma Green Mica from Brambleberry. like that and as a deep uh, different type of color I'm gonna be using a brown and this is a mixture of it's very nice brown of coffee uh, from the workshop heritage and chestnut brown which I got a sample off from mystic magic supplies and I'm trying it out and I really like it so I'm gonna get a couple ounces of that all right so I don't have any fragrance in here and I'm not going to add any fragrance to those little cups because I just feel like um, it might accelerate trace a little bit and I want them to be as um, flowy as possible. So I'm going to transfer it into a another bowl like this one so it's easier to pour in. I'm also using as my base color white. So that's going to be titanium dioxide. Oops. 
Okay, so I'm going to stir in my fragrance. Amazing. And if you can see those little dots, um, it's just colloidal oatmeal. I'll drop colloidal oatmeal. All right, let's get my mold. Add my white. Okay, I don't have a particular order these colors so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the dark I pour from high up so I'll and right in the middle I'll do one more time and then I'll add in a little bit of white.
Okay, so once I have mostly everything in there, I'm going to add in the rest of my white, if it fits. I don't think it will, so I'll make some samples. I'm gonna wait for this to set up so I can texture it. Well, actually, no, in the meantime, I'm gonna add in my colors. I'm gonna attempt to texture this and see if I can, um, if it's has set up enough to texture it. Um. Hmm. I think it's too soft still. Yeah, it's way too soft. So I'm gonna wait for it to set up, do some cleanup, and I will come back. Okay, so it is a little set up, which is perfect. I just wanna see if I can add any more of the color in because I added a little bit more white. So I just wanna see if I can add some color to the white area that's right there that I added in the middle. If not, that's fine. I will just leave it as is. Scrape these little cups down. <laughs> Alright, that's that's enough scraping, I think. Let me get my spoon. Okay. I'll texture it. I hate that it looks all muddy now. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't wanna mess with it too much. I mean, I'm not completely happy with the top because it looks like it got all mudded up with the colors. Um, but hey, it happens. I mean, I'm sure the inside will look fine. At least I hope so. Um, but we'll come back tomorrow to give this one a cut and see what it looks like. And I'll post it also on my Instagram uh, with a hashtag soap the rainbow. And I want to thank you for watching. So we'll see you back very soon. All right, everyone, I am back to cut Mr. Perfect, is it? I have no idea. Um, the Perfect Man, actually. That's what it's called. And my cutter broke the second time. I'm very upset. But if I don't cut this now, then I won't get the new 
strength I need until next week. And next week is not going to be green, so I have to cut it now. I'm going to try to cut it with a, with a knife. Um, I noticed my white turned into a pale pink, which is very odd because it doesn't have no vaniline in it. Um, so I hope it turns back into white, which is what I had intended before. Alright, so I am absolutely the worst at cutting by hand um, with a knife. I have those um, belongs, I don't even know what they're called. I'll post your picture so you guys know what I'm talking about. I have one of those, but I didn't find it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut with a knife. And I'm going to eyeball it. This, These might not even come out that good. But we'll see. And this is what broke. This is the second time my string breaks right here. Um, it didn't actually break this time. It just came out of a little hole and my husband's sleeping. So I don't want to bother him. Maybe he can fix it when he gets out. But in the meantime, I'm going to cut a couple bars of this. Try to get it as straight as possible. Wow, that looks pretty neat. I think I'm dragging the colors down, so I'm going to turn it on the side and cut it um, sideways. Still a little bit too soft. Yeah, for sure. Okay, give this another try. See, the inside is white, but the side is a little pink. I hope it picks up in the camera. Um, and you can see in the, there's like a ring of pink. I don't know why it's doing that. But I really like this look. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to clean my knife. Maybe that would be a good idea. For my first couple bars, um, loaves my new my first two loaves that I ever made were with um, I cut them with a knife and then I was like okay um, awful at cutting it so I invested in a in a cutter okay so this is the third time I'm cutting with a knife in a long time bars of soap of course That looks awesome. I really, really like that. Of course, I'm going to have to clean them up a little bit before I post to them. the color picking up and all those dots are just colloidal oatmeal but I love this looks freaking awesome I definitely have some um, different size bars here uh, but it's, it's gonna work out in the end I love it I love that you can see the different type of greens I wish the camera would just pick up instead of picking that up right there there you go
Okay. So the two last bars look like that. This one I need to cut the end, but I'll give that one an attempt without videotaping it. <laughs> Okay, I think that's they're gonna be fine. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.